Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookham here and in today's video we continue with the series of interviews with Big Red, Ken Waller. And in today's interview segment, Ken Waller explains his first mass building program. Ken details the exercises and sets in the program he used in his teens to develop the thick muscular physique he would later be known for. Ken also shares stories on how Bob Guider taught him to pose and Paul Anderson's bizarre training methods and diet. Enjoy. Yeah, I've got some questions just to backtrack a bit. So you've explained a lot about your career. Um, but, um, and, and, and of course, as, as a teacher as well, um, what got you, was it, what, what, what was it that got you into bodybuilding? Was it your actual football career? I, when I was at practice one day, I was, uh, uh, there was a Mr. Kentucky contest coming up in 1965, mm -hmm. and and we were laughing one day, and one of the guys said, we dare you, uh, there was a little article in the Bowling Green newspaper or something about mm -hmm. it, and someone dared me to enter this Mr. Kentucky contest, mm -hmm. and I didn't know anything about it, so I said, okay, I'll go enter it. Well, I'm going to be honest with you. I won the contest. You would have, I don't know what you look like. You would have been second. Uh, <laughs> and that's how, you know, that's what it was back then. I mean, it was just a bunch of guys uh, got together. So, and then after that, uh, I started lifting weights more. And then I didn't enter another contest in 1968, which was the YMCA Mr. America. Yeah, I mean, and exactly. I, so... What yeah. what what was yeah. the switch then? What because uh, like, you had such a great already, sorry, go on. No, as far as football, that was out of the way. And then I I I remember when I was I might have been twelve or thirteen. I sent a, a ten cents off to uh to I, I guess it was Bob Hoffman or something back then in, mm -hmm. in a magazine. Okay, so you had this great career in football and you got bit by the iron bug. Um, where did you work out before moving to California? At the YMCA in Louisville, Kentucky from mm -hmm. 1966 to 1968. Okay. And before, and before that, when I went to, uh, to Western Kentucky at the time, they didn't have a weight room. I, I took weights and put them in, in the uh, basement, uh, and I would lift weights down there. I, I was the only one on the football team lifting weights 
uh, back in 1962. Mm -hmm. And um, what kind of system were you training early on in your in your bodybuilding career? It wasn't really a system. <laughs> I would do I would do just the basic exercises, you know, like bench press, uh, squats. Uh, See, bench press squat, I like inclines the best, and that I would just do any kind of curls, and I remember to make a cast machine. They didn't have a cast machine, so I took two, uh, two two by fours and uh, made it like an H and put a string, uh, a chain through there, and we would, uh, we would put the two by fours over uh, uh, dip bars. Yeah. So we have them hang, hanging there, and we would stick dumbbells in the in the bucket, and that's how we would do our our cast races. Awesome. Our, and we'd also do a lot of donkey races. Yeah. You know, when you have a partner. Absolutely. You just find anybody in the, in the gym and say, can you sit on my back while I do these? <laughs> that's awesome. Um, yeah, I made my own calf raise machine out of two by fours, just an, an A frame or an H frame, and it's super easy. Um, uh, what I meant by system was, I guess, um, what you kind of explained, the kind of exercise you, were you, that you were using. Did you do also a lot of Olympic weightlifting or was it just these basic mass building exercises? No, it was just the basic exercises and to be honest with you, I would do them, uh, like, uh, five sets for each body, uh, for each exercise and then maybe, uh, and I didn't know the difference between, you know, letting your body rest and, and maybe taking a week or two off and then doing a heavy one. Hmm. We might do a heavy, I might do a heavy one every time I worked out at first. <laughs> yeah. But you never yeah, did, no, you never did any uh, yeah. cleans or clean and presses, those kinds of movements, snatch? No, okay. not at all. All right. Cool. And, yeah. And I tell you what. One time, Paul Anderson came came to uh, the Louisville thing, and he was going to give an exhibition. Mm -hmm. Well, there was in the weightlifting platform. There was a big hole in in the floor. Yeah. So here he had one he had one leg in the in the hole in the floor, one on a regular floor, and he was practicing doing cleans and and presses. And then in between each each exercise, I don't mean every four, uh, five exercises, you know. I mean each exercise, of one set, he would drink a Coca-Cola. <laughs> awesome. That, that's pretty awesome. I didn't know that. Um, yeah. <laughs> thanks for these. I, I really enjoy this. Um, you know, feel free to, to add those little extra tidbits of, of uh, stories because I think people are going to enjoy this. So that was Ken Waller on his basic mass building program that he used to develop mass in his physique early on in his career. Ken listed the bench press, squat, incline press, curls of all sorts and even building his own standing calf raise machine out of wood and a bucket not too dissimilar to my own calf raise machine, which is essentially an H-frame made out of wood with a chain connecting to a weight for resistance, as explained by Ken Waller. Ken also used donkey calf raises to build his calves, which Ken would use throughout his entire career, as I have already explained in a previous video. Ken would use up to five sets, and if you want to know what type of of basic mass building routine Ken implemented, well here it is in its entirety from an article he wrote in a muscle mag in the 1970s. Mondays and Thursdays he would work his calves and legs and as well as the upper body, specifically the chest and back. Whereas on Tuesdays and Fridays he would work abs, do some more calves and work the delts and arms. That's how he would have his four-day split. And I will explain this four-day-a-week mass routine in the next video in much greater detail. But for this video, I thought we would hear directly from Ken from his interview with me. 
Ken also mentioned that he learned posing from Bob Guider, which I can corroborate as Mr. Terry Strand, part of the Chicago Iron Group and friend of Bob Guider for many years until his recent passing, confirms as true. Bob Guider was that kind of guy that would spend hours, like he did with Ken, to pass on what he knew. That is how much Bob loved bodybuilding. Ken was truly lucky to have learnt from Bob Guider, who was a true class act and a legend in the Iron Game. Ken subsequently would win Best Posing Award in many of his competitions, and when you analyse Ken Waller's posing, you can see Bob's influence in the graceful poses he is able to hit even though he's got that massive physique. Ken truly had a great start to bodybuilding, learning from such greats as Bob Guider. Finally, Ken talks about his experience in seeing the great Paul Anderson in action with the most bizarre lifting practices and techniques, as well as drinking Coca-Colas as an intra-workout drink, which would be blasphemy to the multitude of nutritionists today. I will be doing a series on Paul Anderson in the future, as his wife has even contacted me about it, and that will also be featured on this channel. And it wasn't unusual for Paul Anderson to use holes in the ground for his training as he could vary the height and work his lifts at different heights much like one would in a power rack. So I do hope you have enjoyed this interview with Ken Waller on his first mass routine and if you have please give the video a like, subscribe and leave your comments. As mentioned I will follow up this video with a full explanation of Ken Waller's 4 day mass routine for beginners so stay tuned. That's it from me, this is the Golden Era Bookworm saying bye for now. Head to www.goldenerabookworm.com for the biggest range of classic old school bodybuilding books as ebooks, e-magazines such as Iron Man and Reg Park Journal, high quality bodybuilding posters of the Golden Era stars, merchandise and classic gym wear featuring Steve Reeves, Marvin Eda, John Grimmick, Reg Park and many other Golden Era stars. For those wishing to build a classic physique, lose fat and build muscle, online training is also available. Collectibles such as rare autographed photos from the Golden Era stars are also available and to collaborate, please get in touch. As a natural bodybuilder, it is imperative to know your own testosterone levels as they are a reflection of the anabolic environment created by your diet and training. I would highly recommend using the male hormone test kit from Let's Get Checked and make sure you use my code GOLDEN30 for a 30% discount. Again, the advantage of checking yourself regularly is that you will know how well your body is anabolically primed to put on the much desired muscle you are working for. Not all of us have the time to go to a gym or the opportunity to have a coach to teach us one on one. But with the Future Fitness app, it's like having a personal trainer in your living room. From February 11th onwards, you can try the Future Fitness app for only $19 for the first month. Think of what you can accomplish during that first month. So go on and hit my link at tryfuture.co slash geb to get started. Now, if you're interested in learning more about Vince Deronda's approach to bodybuilding, his principles, and all these tips of wisdom that he has. But to be honest, these three books, I believe, which I call the Classic Physique Bundle, are the best books that Vince ever came out with. And they, of course, are the Wild Physique, the Master Series, and the Pro Series. Have a look at it this way. The Wild Physique, I believe, is like the ABCs of Vince Gironda's principles to bodybuilding. He teaches you the exercises and his principles. But how do you put them together? Well, the Master Series is a 14-month program of using all of these principles, all of the diets that Vince came out with, all of the exercises. And of course, the Pro Series was a book that he came out with later on, specially targeted for uh, getting into competition. It's just these, these three books, as I call it, the Classic Physique Bundle, uh, Vince's best work, and available, of course, at www.goldenerabookum.com.